I made the cutest Jawa and EG6 droid, and here's how. I started with a sketch that I created on my iPad, which I used to guide me through the sculpting process on Nomad Sculpt. I made sure not to forget to scale the model to the right size I needed. And once sculpting is finished, I can send it to the slicing software. Open my files, add some supports in various areas. Sometimes I go a little overboard on this step, but I don't want any failures. Now it's ready to load on the USB stick and into the printer. Let's fill it with some resin and begin the four hour print. Once it has successfully finished printing, it's time for post-processing. I'll submerge them into isopropyl alcohol and use the ultrasonic cleaner to remove any excess resin. Give it about five minutes. Once it's finished, I can remove the supports. Don't forget to cure them in the UV light. This Alagoo Mercury has one built in, which makes it super convenient. And now I can move on to the part that takes the most time, sanding. At times, the Jawas can be found accompanied by EG6 power droids, also referred to as gonk droids. They're basically walking mobile batteries that help assist Jawas steal stuff and power up other tools. Just look how cute this little ion blaster is. Now let's move on to the gonk. On this project, I created the droid in two separate parts for the body. If I do it again, I would only make it one. Basically, this created more work than I wanted but it worked. At this point, now that I can't feel my fingertips, let's get ready for some painting. I'll use these gator clips to hold onto these tiny pieces, as well as some wooden dowels that'll pressure fit for the other parts that I can't clip onto. Now I think we're ready to spray. This paint job is fairly simple. All the parts will be sprayed in matte black, and the jaw will just need a base coat of brown paint. Now since the Jawas are found wearing cloth robes, I wanted to give it some texture. So I used the airbrush to create a splatter while spraying. And now let's move on to the eyes, using this yellow-orange paint that I mixed up. It usually takes a few layers to build up that color I'm going for. And from there, I prefer to use my brushes for any detail that I need to finish. This is definitely the challenging part, so be patient as you learn along the way. And if you make a mistake, they can be fixed. All right, let's get ready to put everything together. I wanna to thank all my patrons that have joined my new Patreon page. Each month I plan to share a behind the scenes look into my work, early access video content like these YouTube videos, and one thing I'm really excited for, printable files for you guys to paint and print yourself. So go check it out. One detail I was excited about are these tiny cables at the bottom of the gonk droid. I cut them and they mimic wires. So let's check out the finished look. 